Well hello guys, my name is Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a wired mouse to your iPhone or iPad. Now you will need a specific adapter, it is a lightning to USB-A female cable, so the lightning end obviously connects to your iPhone, and your mouse plugs into the receiving USB end. Or well, now Apple does sell their own version of the cable, but I found it much cheaper just to buy any other one since I don't have to pay extra for the brand day, eh? but you can do that if you want. Most people use the cable to connect their cameras, but as a PC gamer myself, oh, I feel like I get much more use out of connecting your mouse, eh? Well, once you have the cable, connect it like so, and then we'll go into the iOS settings, eh? So here we are, in the iOS settings. As you can see, I like cats. Anyway, we'll scroll down to accessibility, eh? So let's just open the accessibility tab, then we go down to touch the touch tab, eh? Once we enter the touch tab, go into assistive touch, and then turn assistive touch on, eh? After we get that done, we gotta go down, and find the devices menu. Here we go, right on the pointer devices, and as you can see, my Cooler Master NM17 gaming mouse is connected. Now this mouse doesn't have any RGB, so I'm afraid the RGB will probably suck some power out of the very lighting hungry mice. As you can see, there are some buttons we can customize. Once you open the menu initially, there will probably be none. So make sure you do those, it should be pretty simple. As you can see now, the mouse is working and connected to the iPhone. I feel like the default pointer is kinda hard to see, eh? So in order to fix that, we scroll down to accessibility. And then once we're in there, we go past the touch tab, and then down the pointer control. And from here, we are able to change the color and sensitivity of our pointer. And there's a lot of colors to choose from, as long as it's within the range of colors you can choose from. Now obviously, it'll also work on the iPad, as long as it's up to iOS 13 or higher. And get yourself a Bluetooth keyboard, and you'll be set for half the PC experience, eh?